Hello everyone. We're doing a take two. I'm just sorting out my headphones because um, seriously, it's been one of those mornings already. I've choked live, choked literally live. Then my husband called me and he mucked up. I was just double checking to make sure that my earphones were still working and that I wouldn't get an echo. So I'm assuming that everything is going to be working fine now. Oh my goodness. I've got my phone on Do Not Disturb, right? I'll just jump straight up over to my comments. Good morning, Anita. Hopefully you can hear me. I've got my phone on um, Do Not Disturb, and I've got it set to no one is allowed to call me, and yet my husband still managed to call me. And I got cross with him. So <laughs> if you saw me get cross with him, I apologise. And I'm like... I just don't know if you've just interrupted my life. Like, I have to stop now. And he's like, sorry. And he just keeps talking. And I'm like, go away. <laughs> so, oh, awesome. Glad you can hear me okay. Oh, seriously. It's just, oh, my eyes have stopped watering from my little choking thing as well. And so hopefully we are all good to go now. Holy cow. I hope it's not going to be one of these mornings. He is set to a favourite, but I've got it crossed out to say that not even my favourite can call me. So I'm hoping um, I might have to unfavourite him because <laughs> he tried me nuts. He did it last week, which then stuffed up um, and made my screen all glitchy. I'm sure it was him because he text messaged me and it comes through on my iPad and then my iPad mucked up and, and um, my screen was all glitchy and I'm like, oh. Men, huh? And even husband men. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I finally got rid of him and rescheduled. Good morning, everyone coming in. Oh, my goodness. It's been one of those days. Anyway, we will get into things. Hello, if you are joining me for the first time. My name is Elise Kilsner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Um, I just run through a few little things before we get started in our live crafting. So the first one is, this is my blog address. And if you head over there, you can subscribe to my newsletter. And all of our videos that we have um, will go out as a free PDF tutorial to you Friday morning. Um, so once you sign up, you'll get one of them. Every, sometimes there's a little bit of extra, like there's a little bit of extra that will probably be coming tomorrow because we've got some stuff going on. And um, sometimes it's just the PDF that you get, so it just depends on what's going on in the month as to how heavy your email is. Um, the second is we have our March code. Um, I have my March code, I should say. And, uh, and what happens is when you order with me via the online store and you pop this host code in, I can gather all of the orders and get staff and rewards on them, which enables me to send you a little thank you gift in the following month. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that I have going on at the moment, and I've got to, I've got to switch my graphic, it's huge. Um, I have running an Ocean Month mid-month mini class. So, you know, I have my full um, classes at the beginning of each month, and I'm now going to be introducing a mini mid-month, which is just three cards. They're going to be fairly simple, fairly quick to make. Um, and of course, being a mini class, there's a lot of mini or price than, than the bigger one. And this one here will be closing on the 27th of March. So you've got a little bit of time to get into that one. Now, exciting news. I don't know whether this is growing me this morning. We have had exciting news. We have got our last chance price uh, list. Retiring list has gone out this morning. The best way that you can probably shop is to head to the online store and click on the last chance tab. And whatever is there is there because these are all wild stock last at the moment. And yesterday, um, the reinters for the outgoing in colours, they were all already low in stock. So I don't know whether that means they'll be getting more in stock or whether they've not bothered to like what their um, inventory level triggers the reorder. I don't know whether they've been reordered or not. So, but they are low at the moment, so they probably sell out. Is my guess. So, and this will last until the end of April, and I think probably to the second of May, because the new catalogue goes out on the third of May. And speaking of, I 
actually know what the cover looks like now, and it is super, super, super pretty. It is really pretty. I can't show you yet, though. And uh, the whole catalogue is pretty, so I'm telling you. If you wish to have a copy of the catalogue, um, you will need to, um, if you're a customer of mine and you have placed an order between October last year and end of March this year, so 31st, I've got to close it off on the 31st, so I'll say the 30th of March. If, if you order at least $100 between those dates, then you will automatically be getting the catalogue in the mail. Um, if you haven't, you've still got time to place an order, or if you just want to purchase one, it'll be six dollars fifty, which is what Stampin' Up charges me. And uh, I think that's all of my little get rid of that now. That's all of my little things. I can go back to my comments. Good morning, Holly and Chris. Welcome, welcome. I see one of those morning signs late. Um, okay, so let's switch around. Let me get uh, let me get pictures. Worked out. There we go. So this is the card that I have got planned for us today. And then while I was looking at it this morning, I'm thinking, hmm, I might actually change it a little bit. So this is, might be a little bit of an interactive um, live session today. So get ready, make sure you get your keyboard handy because you'll be needing to type in some questions or answers to my questions. So I have got, I'm thinking about changing up the colour layout a little bit and um, that sort of thing. So I'll keep that in view so that we know what's going on. So I'm using the Artfully Layered stamp set and these are the dies that match them. So um, we have got dies that will cut out the solid images. So I'll cut out that one. Um, I don't think that one cuts out that one. They've got to be a different size and I think that would be a bit tricky anyway. And then we've just got standalone dies, um, which just cut out the shape. And we've got a little cross hatching, and these sort of like imprint and just leave a little pocket mark type thing. So it's a pretty cool stamp set. And I'm also using the Artistically Inked for the Happy Birthday because I love that one. Don't have this set yet? Mm, I, don't, uh, I don't know whether I saw it in the new one or not. In the new. I can't remember. I've only had a quick flip through, so um, I haven't had a huge look. Okay, so my first question is going to be, in this one I have done just pale papaya, but I'm wondering whether I should do a Calypso coral and a pale papaya motley flip. So let me know what you think. I'm going to get my cardstock out and my two ink pads. So that's the first question. Let me know in the comments there whether I should just do pale papaya like I have done or whether I should do a mottled image using the both or whether I should just use the quick ah. right, I'll get them there. I've got a sponge dauber just in case. So I know that there's a bit of a lag. So I shall wait. The new catalogue is super nice. Yes, Julia. It is so nice. I'm, uh, I'm going to be through. So you'll definitely want to get copies of this one. That's for sure. Okay. Any uh, mottled? We've got Anita says mottled. Marbled, Holly, which is, yep, same thing. Okay, let's do, let's do that one. So we're going to ink up first in pale papaya. And then in Calypso Coral, I'm just going to use my sponge dauber here and I'm just going to do little patches. I'm not even, I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm just here. So I think I've got three spots. Block on my block. Okay. So we'll give that a, let's see how that turns out. A nice, subtle, uh, yeah, that's really pretty. Just really very subtle. Merges nicely from one colour into another. Okay, I think that's pretty much what I have to do too. Right, let keep that away. Now I'm going to die cut this guy. So I'll bring in my mini first one. So don't forget that 
at the moment the mini uh, the mini catalogs, the mini um, die cutting machine. Is that going to fit in there? Yes. The mini die cutting machine is uh, twenty percent off until the end of the month, and uh, and there are select. Oops, I'm going to get you back into place. And um, and there are select dies that are also at twenty percent off. But I'm not sure how the retiring list has actually affected that. So um, I didn't, didn't actually look at that. Good morning, Trudy. Okay. I'm going to stand up for this. So bear with me. Hopefully my hair doesn't dangle in the camera. That little guy through. Okay. Okay, so that's our first little thing. Okay, so the next thing I want to be asking you is I'm going to have to show you my layout so that we can choose which one we're going to go. And then I thought I might have a little add to it as well. I've got some extra embellishments to add. Okay, so we've got that going on. Now I've got my card base of basic white. And this is going to stay the same. I'll bring in that one. So that one is going to stay the same. So the next questions are because I was thinking I've got pale papaya disaster paper on top of pale papaya card. But then I was thinking, what if I did pale papaya with Calypso Coral Design Series paper, or if I did this one? So, so Calypso Coral base or pale papaya base? Which one do you think? I'll bring that one in so you can have a look with me and have a look. So don't forget that all these design series papers are also retiring to make way for a whole batch of gorgeous new papers. Some of them are just like outstanding, gorgeous. With the pale papaya base, this one is, Anita says this one, I don't know what the delay is. CP base, oh, we've got two for pale papaya, one for coral. I don't know how many people are watching. 16, 16 people watching, so come on, pop your answers in. <laughs> I should have 16 comments, right? <laughs> pale papaya, I'm thinking that one's winning at the moment. Yep, that one too. Okay, I can always make another card with the other. No. I think I've still got plenty of that paper. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now I've got that. So let's start sticking together. Okay, awesome. I'll roll on. And start doing. It's pretty quick. It's just got a few layers, but it's a pretty simple card. There wasn't actually the, the stamping that we've done is pretty much all we're doing. So apart from the sentiment, which I've actually done ahead of time. So even though it looks like it's a full-on card, it's it's not really um it's not really that. Nice. So we'll put this down. So just make sure I've got my. Make sure I've got my layering correct. So when you get your I I to, I meant that too. when you get your PDF, um, all the instructions will be written down and all of the measurements. And the measurements are in both inches and in centimeters. So I'm actually working in inches now, which surprised me a little bit, because I've always been a centimeter girl. But the trimmer makes it super, super easy and um, especially I find it actually easier to line up. Okay, 
feet really simple. And then I just got a strip of which is I finally changed my trimmer blade, but I had cut this before I did that. So I'm going to pop this down. And Because I had, when my husband called me, I didn't, I didn't go back in and check whether my earphones um, were hooked up again properly. So I'm wondering if that may be the case. Let me chuck my earphones out of my room. No one can use me anywhere else. I just chuck my earphones away and my room. Oh, well, I don't think that I'm Yeah. Mm, I believe it. Yeah, I 
my sentiment and I did here already. So I may end up with a real cross so I'm just gonna put my glue dot there and pop this down to an angle. And that way I'll just pop I'm happy to go there and pop over the top. Wow, I seem to have been making a real mess today. The paper that I punched from, you can see is the mother of pearls. So I think when I bought I think when I bought the paper in, it sort of mucked my screen up a little bit, and that's when everyone does have an issue. Um, so today, again, last week I didn't have a very good time, this week I'm not having a very good time. Oh, and I am, I've got my phone set on don't disturb because I am actually expecting a phone call, so maybe, maybe I'll try and call. I'm going to, I want this not to be like a bottle, I just want to pop it in my phone. I'm going to do this and pop some more dimensional on my happy birthday.